Before I start this video, I want to say one thing. This video is going to be about a bunch of different ideas that I personally have about Wizard 101 and how I personally feel that Wizard 101 can improve to grow its fan base and be a better game overall. With that being said, this is 100% my own feelings and how I feel, okay? If you disagree with me, feel free to say so in the comments and we can just talk there and go back and forth. However, please don't say anything dumb or stupid like, blah, 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 blah. you know, don't say anything like that. You know, that's just that's just not that's just not smart. But if you actually have something smart to say about, hey, I disagree with you because of this and I think this would be better. Go for it. I love conversations like that. I love going back and forth and just talking about things like that. But if you just your opinion is stupid because it's stupid, you know what bro like come on but yeah this video is just going to be 100 percent about what i feel wizard 101 can do to improve their game and just in general things about that so without further ado let's actually get started so as you guys already know that i've made content on wizard 101 for like a year now and i've played it for a few years and i think in general wizard 101 is a great game and it has a great base idea behind the actual game it's a really really good concept and no one's ever done it before and i believe wizard 101 has a lot of potential and i'm pretty sure the majority of the wizard 101 community also agrees with me with me saying that wizard 101 has a lot of potential untapped potential that it could flourish if it did certain things just right with that being said, I personally feel that the Wizard 101 devs or whoever's doing the coding behind the scenes or whoever's managing the team behind the scenes, I feel like they're putting in their efforts in the wrong places in Wizard 101. I might be completely wrong. I don't know what's going on behind the Wizard 101 doors. They might be working on some humongous project that they haven't even announced to the public that we just have no idea what's going on. However, from the things that I've seen that they have shown us, I personally feel like Wizard 101 is focused on a different, uh, just, 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 just the wrong areas in the game. I feel like they're focusing on the wrong thing. At the moment, right now, it feels like Wizard 101 is solely focusing on PvP. Every time I look at a Wizard 101 update, or every time I go on Twitter, it's all about PvP, bro. PvP this, PvP that, PvP roundtable this, PvP roundtable that. It's never anything else in the game. I know they had some housing stuff back, like, you know, a few weeks ago. But the majority of the content that I see the Wizard 101 devs focusing on is PvP. Now, in a sense, honestly, it does make sense that they would focus on PvP, considering that the only in-game content that Wizard 101 has to offer is PvP. So it feels like they're trying to solidify, their, they're trying to secure their in-game content or, or their, their current players so they can focus on other things in the future. However, I do feel like maybe they should split it up a little bit. Considering that every single MMO in existence has a pvp community but they also have a pve community i'm a part of the pve community and i don't feel love right now i do not feel love i i i i, I just i i do not feel any type of love from the wizard 101 devs when it comes to the pve side of things you know we do have our pve updates here we do have new world here new dungeon here but it feels like pvp is just that side that the devs of the wizard 101 community just love they love them they love them let's let's change this you guys don't like this yeah let's 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 change every single update we have has something dealing with pvp that's changed because we're just trying to make you guys happy but you know what about the pve guys you know what i mean we're not happy we we want some things in the game too we want some things changed in the game too you know what i mean if we exist you know there wouldn't be any pvp if there wasn't pve to begin with you know what i mean I'm really just saying all this because I want to see some type of effort from the devs of Wizard 101 or the management team or whoever's behind the scenes of Wizard 101 to put a little bit, just a little bit more effort towards PvE and ask the PvE guys what we would like to see in the game to make it better. You know what I mean? What Just ask the, the, the PvE community in a whole what we would like to see i know they did some housing things back you know i like to see the housing thing that was a good that was a thumbs up for me you know what i mean and i like that they're trying to put some effort towards pvp as well but i feel like just just as a whole the pve community i might just be speaking for myself i don't know but i just feel like there's some things that i would personally like to see in the game of wizard 101 pve side that i think would be absolutely amazing okay so i kind of got off track by the way 
this video is completely off of my head. I didn't write anything down. I didn't prepare for this video at all. I'm legit just hit the record button and start talking because that's just the person I am. That's just what I do. You know what I mean? And I might plan some videos here and there, but not this one. No, no. This video is going to be all over the place. Not, not this one. But let's go back to the title of the video. The reason why you clicked on the video is because I was going to explain how to save Wizard 101. And honestly, truthfully, I feel like Wizard 101 has one option. They have one trump card. They have one thing in their arsenal that will really help them with their game and really bring players back. And that one thing in their arsenal, their one trump card that they have is making the game free to play. Now, I know what you guys are saying. Wizard 101 can't make the game free to play because they would lose so much money from the amount of money they get from memberships. They wouldn't be getting that anymore, so they would lose so much money. And if, and if Wizard 101 doesn't get money, then they won't be able to pay their devs. They won't be able to, to pay for the servers. They won't be able to do a whole bunch of things because they just don't have the money to do so. Now, with that being said, we're not gonna, you know, there's an elephant in the room about how Wizard 101 just got bought by Gambino or however the hell you say that company's name. They just got bought for how many millions of dollars? You know, how much money they got now? You know what I mean? But let, let's just backpedal here, you know. Let's say that Wizard 101 didn't have all that money. Let's say that they never got brought, bought out. And let's say that they wouldn't be able to make the game free to play because they will lose so much money. And to that, I say you are completely correct. Currently, Wizard 101 would not be able to go free to play because they would lose so much money to the point where they wouldn't be able, they wouldn't be able to run their own game. So with that being said, we got to find some other ways for Wizard 101 to make money, but also not to the point where Wizard 101 is going to look like that one game where it's 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 pay to win and, and every single aspect is all about money and all they want is money and money, 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 money. Let's 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 let's, let's find a solution here for Wizard 101 to actually flourish while also being free to play. Now, if we look at many of the most successful games out you know what I mean? That make a lot of money that aren't free to play. The majority of those games focus purely, when I say purely, I mean purely 100% on nothing but cosmetics. If we're looking at games like Fortnite, all you pay for is emotes and skins and gun skins and car skins. Everything is cosmetic, but they make millions of dollars. You know why? Because people want to look cool. You know what I mean? People want to flex, bro. It's all about the flex. You know what I mean? It's it's that's all of that's all it is in video games. It's, it's about how good you are, how good you look, you know, and people will pay big bucks to look good in video games. OK, people do that. And I feel like wizard 101 has a market where it, it, they could do so much cosmetically and it would make so much money from players just buying this buying that buying this buying that just to make their wizard look that much cooler you know what i mean i personally feel like cosmetics is the future of wizard 101 for them to not only make the players happy because we're all flexing now we all look cool as hell you know what i mean i'm happy you know what i mean but also to make wizard 101 more money so they could sustain themselves once the game goes free to play now you might be asking small what's these all what are all of these cosmetic items that you're talking about man what are, what are these great ideas that you have that wizard 101 can implement to make their game that much better you know what i mean now, we already do have some cosmetic items in Wizard 101. We have, you know, we could change the way that our character looks for Wizard 101. We can, we can, we can change our teleport effect on Wizard 101. We have a variety of different armors and pets to choose from and mounts to choose from that are all cosmetically. Some of them have stats, you know, well, gear does have stats, but you know what I mean? We have all of these items that we can change on our wizard to make our wizard look like this, so to make our wizard look like that, make our wizard look better than this wizard, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. However, I feel like there's so much things, or so many, so much, so, so a lot of different other things that Wizard 101 can add to their game to make the player so much happier because I feel like there's a lot of things that are missing. Out of the things I just listed, now that I realize it, the only pure, true cosmetic thing that Wizard 101 has, kind of, is the teleport effects, you know? I thought when they added a different teleport effect to the game, I thought that was amazing. I thought it was awesome. However, I don't see a lot of people using different teleport effects. I rarely see people actually going out their way and acquiring different teleport effects. And I think that's because it's not, it's not, it's not, how can I say this? 
it's not explicitly out there to me like if i were to think of a way to get a teleport effect i wouldn't even know where to start the only place that i know where to start is 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 the scroll of fortune right like we can't get teleport effects through packs you know what i mean or we can't get teleport effects through farming a boss why not why why can't i get a teleport effect through a pack I will open a pack up to get a teleport effect. You you best than believe. The only reason why I open packs is 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 really for cosmetic items at the end of the day. New pack release. Oh, this wand looks cool. It has shitty stats, but the wand looks cool. So I'm gonna open a pack so I can get this wand so I can stitch it. That's money in Wizard 101's pocket. And we're happy because our wizard looks cool. So why don't we have teleport effects in packs? Why? We have different teleports effects in the game. You put them in the scroll of fortune, but you don't put them in packs. Why? I don't understand. I, I don't have a reason for that. Put teleport effects in packs. Just do it. Because it's it, it's it's a great idea. I don't see why you wouldn't. So why, why why don't we have teleport effects in packs? You know what I mean? Like, 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 why? And also, why don't we have teleport effects in like boss fights? You know what I mean? Like, like a skeleton key boss. Why doesn't he drop a teleport effect? I don't, I don't, I don't get it. There's an area that Wizard 101 could do better in. Teleport effects. Boom. There you go. There's a great idea for you to use, Wiz. There you go. I hope a dev is watching this. <laughs> well, teleport effects. Skeleton key boss. Yes. Tele teleport effects. Packs. Yes, please. Write that down. Another cosmetic item that I think Wizard 101 could really... Like, when I, when I say really, guys. I mean, this could be amazing okay this 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 would be maybe one of the best cosmetic items in the entire game if it was implemented if they could do this i will maybe one of two but the first one that i'm gonna say is going to be a run animation a run animation would be amazing it would be one of the best cosmetic items ever you could get so creative with run animations you could have a you could have a you could have a moonwalk Run animation. Just imagine your Wizard 101 in Dark Mode, just running down the hallways, moonwalking, bro. If I saw a person doing that, or like another wizard, I would think he looked so cool. I want a moon animation now. I want a moonwalk now. You know what I mean? Or imagine this man just skipping. He's just skipping, bro. I want that. I, I would pay money for that. It, you know what's the best one? A Naruto run, bro. G give that guy to me. Give it to me. 20 bucks? Give it to me, bro. I want that guy right now. Let my let my Wizard 101 character Naruto run down Darkmoor, bro. I need that. I need that. I I need please. Just uh, please, bro. Run animations would be so amazing. You can you can if you can animate a a, a new mount, you know, every couple of weeks and when you add a new pack to the game that got like three variants of a mount. If you can add an animation for a new fucking, I don't know, a new gorilla you can add you can change the wizard 101 animation to give me a naruto run i want a naruto run give it to me but yeah all jokes aside if wizard 101 had the option to change your character's run animation and they also monetize it i think it would blow up if they put something like that let's say inside of the scroll of fortune you know I mean? people will buy the scroll of fortune for a run animation a lot of people will buy the scroll of fortune for a run animation i most definitely would be one of those people that will buy a scroll of fortune for a run animation or if they put a run animation inside of a pack i most definitely you would most definitely see this guy doing a hundred dollar pack opening just for a run animation especially if it was an arto run especially so boom, we got run animations, we got teleport effects. One of them's in the game, but it, it could definitely be better and one isn't in the game. Let's go to the third one. Imagine if you can change the way your character holds wands, bro. What? Wait, 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 wait hold on, hold on. Let me say that again. Y'all, y'all didn't get hype. Y'all didn't get as hype as me when I said that. Imagine if you can change the way your Wizard 101 character held weapons inside of the game. You guys know two-handed weapons, right? And you know how you never see them? You know how no one ever uses two-handed weapons? You know why? Do you know why? It's not because they have bad stats. Some of them have good stats. But you do you know why no one ever uses them visually, cosmetically? They always get stitched. Do you know why? It's not because the wand looks ugly. Some of them wands look damn cool as hell. But the way your wizard holds them is dog shit, okay? Let's, we're just gonna say that right. No one wants to be truthful in this damn community, okay? The way you hold two-handed weapons is ugly. It's ugly. 
It doesn't look good. I don't want my wizard to look that damn stupid, okay? Look, you can get mad at me all you want. You can, Shmojo, does you know what he's talking about? I don't care, bro. I'm going to say it truthfully. I'm going to say it how I feel. I think the way you hold two-handed weapons in Wizard 101 looks ugly, bro. No one uses it. When was the last time you, you saw somebody faithfully hold a two-handed weapon visually because it looked cool? I never see that, bro. And if I do, I'm just like, okay, cool. You know, good for you. But I never see that. I, 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 out of my year of playing Wizard 101, I have yet to see somebody actually truthfully, boldly have a stitch where the dude is holding a two hand. This, look at this. No, bro. What you doing, bro? Why are you holding it like that, man? No, bro. That's why people use wands or that's why people use bows and arrows. You know what I mean? Because those are actually look decent, but the two handed weapons don't look decent. There's a way. Wiz, wiz, I need Wizard 101. I need you to take out your notepad again. Get that pen. Get that pencil. Sharpen that guy. But I, because I'm about to say something that you need to write down and tell to your your, your coworkers and put this in the game. Look, make it where you can change your wizard's wand holding animation. Okay, just just come on now. You just got to do it. It's, it's it's such a good idea. You know what I mean? I will buy that. If there's a way for me, hey, instead of holding your two-handed weapon like this, do you want to hold it on your back like like a, like a champ? You know what I mean? Like, like, like someone, uh, you know, like somebody fight. You know what I mean? I will do that, bro. That would be so cool. Just imagine having like a big old like mace, like the uh the fossil Avengers uh the fossil Avengers wand. Imagine holding the fossil Avengers wand on your back, bro. You got that guy held up like this. You know what I mean? It's just laying on your shoulders, going across. You know how cool that would be, bro. Oh my god, that would be so cool. And that's not the only one, bro. What about what about uh what about spears? You know how you run with spears, like. What is that, bro? Why you look so dumb, bro? Like, like you remember level 30 Mount Olympus. You know the spear that you get with the 10% damage? Yeah, it got good stats. But I wanted to stitch that guy all the way to level 60 because it was horrible, bro. Just, you look dumb, okay? You look dumb, dude. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying get rid of the animation. I'm just saying, bro, 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 bro. Make it where you can change it. Add some uh, alternative cool-looking animation that you can only get... If you get it through packs, or you can only get it if you buy it in a crown shop, bro. Monetize that guy. Monetize it, bro. Make that money, Wiz, because people are going to buy it, including me. Make it 20 bucks. I buy it. I buy it in a heartbeat, bro. I buy that. No hesitation. Here's my credit card. Give it to me because I, I'm the type of wizard, bro. I want to flex, okay? You guys already know me, bro. When it comes to stats, I got the best. When it comes to the stitches, I got the best, okay? And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one out there that like to flex on people, bro. I'm going to be a flexor, bro. I'm going to be a honey with you. I am a flexor. And when it comes to having the best looking cool things in the game, I'm going to go for it, bro. I'm going to go for it, including that alternative one holding animation that you guys are going to add to the game for $20 in a crown shop. But yeah, adding that as a cosmetic item in the game would be literally groundbreaking. Like, like, like it, it would be like, it's like at the end of the day, it's only a cosmetic item. But that's what that's what people want, bro. Like, like that, that's you know, it's it's not all about the stats. You know, it's not all about hey, let's add this piece of gear to the game because it has good stats and people will buy it because it's it's it has good stats. No, bro, it's all about you know. Sometimes you gotta just add stuff to the game that people will like because it just looks cool. You know what I mean? It, it just looks nice to have. You know that that's that's it's not all about the stats. Sometimes, bro. Sometimes it's about how you look and the flexage, bro. It's, it's about the flexage sometimes. With that being said, there's there's probably plenty of different other cosmetic items in the game that you guys could probably think of. There's a, there's one more that I want to say that I think is a good idea, and that is the casting animation. Well, there's actually two of them because I just thought of two. The casting animation. You know how you got your like your your little your little wand in your hand, right? And you do this spell, and your wizard does this this thing with his wand. What if we had an alternative casting animation that we could just buy? You know what I mean? Like 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 what if it was fire? You know, because some casting animations look stupid. Let's be honest. Let's be truthful here. Some of the casting animations just look dumb, and 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 should be changed. You know what I mean? But instead of changing them, keep them in the game, and then add another one that looks better but monetize it you know what i mean come on whiz come on whiz come on whiz 
besides the casting animation that could be uh, like another groundbreaking cosmetic amazing idea that uh wizard one could implement of course but besides that we could also implement the casting symbol you know what i mean you know let's say you're a fire blizzard every single fire spell you do has like the little fire emblem on it what if there was an alternative to that you know what i mean to make it that much better you know what if it had a little bit more flame in it what if it had a little bit more glow in it you know what i mean what if it was purple i don't know what if it was white you know i, I don't know bro it, it, there's so many different ideas you could add cosmetically that could just make it so much better so much better and on top of that you can monetize it nobody would question it it's not it's not it's not pay to win because you don't need it to actually do any better in a game it just looks cool you know and i i per personally i don't know about you guys but personally i care about my looks and i i will most definitely buy something that makes my wizard 101 character look cool as hell you know what i mean i will most definitely buy it i don't care how much it costs i'm getting it honestly i don't know if you guys remember but back on twitch when i used to stream wizard 101 i, I remember having five six hour streams of me just working on a stitch bro just legit going throughout the bank farming gear just just to stitch it and just to make my wizard look cool I, you know it's, it's not something that i needed i didn't i didn't i didn't need it at all it's just it's just something that i i, I wanted just to look cool you know I remember opening packs literally just to get gear that I thought looked nice so I could stitch it so I could look cool, you know? And I'm pretty sure it's no different if you have a, a, a run animation in the game, if you have different ways of getting the teleport effects in the game, if you have different wand casting animation in the game, if you have uh, different run animations in the game, different ways you hold your wand in the game, different casting symbols in the game, you know what I mean? If you just have all of these things, cosmetic items in the game, you can monetize them and make so much more money than you're already making to the point where you could make the game free to play and bring in how many players how many truthfully if wizard 101 just boom went free to play advertise the mess out of it hey guys we are now truly 100 percent free to play you know what i mean you know how many people would come back to the game just because it's free to play they have no they, they don't know what it, it, it's free to play now let me hop on this guy let me see what happened all of these years while i wasn't playing because it cost money now that it's free to play now that it doesn't have that annoying paywall that it has now that it's completely free and i can play the game completely free let me hop back on it you know what i mean honestly if i'm being honest i think wizard 101 should prepare itself for the day it goes free to play there's no question about it wizard 101 has to go free to play okay it just it just has to it just if, if in my opinion if the game wants to succeed to the fullest of its potential it will have to go free to play honestly truthfully in my honest opinion i think the game would have to go free to play it has to prepare for itself to actually go free to play though you can't just go free to play and expect the game to do well in its current state that's just not going to happen one way i think you could prepare for the game to go free to play of course is to add a bunch of cosmetic items to monetize the game i've only said like what five or six i'm pretty sure there's plenty plenty like like plenty of different ways you can add cosmetic items to the game and monetize them to the point where you don't even need membership anymore well you got all of these other different ways of making revenue you don't need membership anymore i can make the game free to play bring in thousands of new players and make even more money because of the 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 the, the cosmetic items i'm adding before that will entice them to actually get them you know what i mean However, that's not it. That's that's the st that's not all you need. We 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 have our cosmetic items in the game now. You know, this is gonna be a long video, by the way. I've been recording for thirty minutes. It's probably gonna be an hour video. Who cares? But you you got your revenue, right? You got your cosmetic items in the game. We now have a, a good stream of revenue, other than membership, to the point where we don't even need membership anymore. However that's not all we need that's 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 not how this is gonna work that's 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 that we need more than that we, we need something else i say this a lot whenever i'm talking to newer streamers people come to my stream all the time hey man i'm new to streaming what can i do hey man can i get some advice on streaming one thing that i've learned personally throughout my years of making content creation is that it's easy to get people a lot of people will come across your content a lot thousands thousands of people will come across your content right so you have the opportunity of 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 getting uh, of, of just grasping people's attention right you you have that but what you don't have is keeping their attention that's the that's the issue okay that's that's the problem that we have to fix with wizard 101 it's keeping people's interest inside of the actual game and the way that the game is right now you could you could advertise the shit out of wizard 101 you could get millions of people on the game in, in, in within a week 
on Wizard 101, but how many people are actually going to stay to play for the next week? You know what I mean? How many people are actually going to stay on Wizard 101 with the current content that the game has to offer for people to continue playing for years to come? You know, I'm not confident in that. You know what I mean? I've played Wizard 101 for years, and with the content that Wizard 101 has to offer, don't get me wrong, I did play it for years, for so obviously it's doing something right, but right now I don't enjoy it, and, 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 and I feel like there, there's some solutions that Wizard 101 can come up with to fix this problem of if Wizard 101 were to advertise the shit out of the game, get thousands of people in the game, how many people would stay? I don't think that number is high. I, I truthfully, honestly don't think that number is high. Now, let's think about it for a second. If Wizard 101 actually went free to play, I believe that the amount of players on the game would skyrocket, just like how it went free to play back in what, December? For like a week, and we seen like a, a big rise in players. I think like the, it was, the full list of servers was full there was a full list of servers that were completely full you hop on the game right now how many servers are full what like two maybe maybe two that we're going from like how many i think it's like eight different servers on one page we're going from eight full servers when it went free to play for one week one week to two it went back to two wizard one went like this free to play boom straight back down you know why it went straight back down because it didn't offer any new content to the new players that came to wizard 101 to win it went free to play it, it, it didn't offer any new content so that brings me back to my next topic is we have to introduce new content that wizard 101 has never seen before before it goes free to play and i'm not talking about new worlds you know how many times people have seen new worlds and wizard one you know how many worlds we have now i'm not talking about new worlds new worlds is new content however it's just repetitive new content it's something that we've seen before you know i'm talking about wizard 101 has to add new content that isn't in the game it's not there we have to put it there so when we make the game free to play not only are returning players or old players going to return back to the game because there's actually new content there but it will give some incentive for newer players to continue playing the game because there's other things to do we need more things to do you know what i mean like when you think about it, what is there to do in Wizard 101? You can quest, you can get yourself a max level wizard. After you have a max level wizard, what is there next? You can grind the game, get the best gear in the game. Once you have the best gear in the game, what's next? You got PvP, maybe you don't want to do PvP. Maybe you do want to do PvP, then do PvP. If you don't want to do PvP, then what's next? You can do housing, you, you can do fishing, and that's it. Housing and fishing. Housing and fishing. Who, who wants to sit there and do housing and fishing all day? Don't get me wrong. There is a pretty good, solid community in the housing community, a respectable housing community, because that stuff is not easy. The stuff they do is really amazing. You know what I mean? Um, but the, me personally, I just... I wanted to get into housing, but I never did it. And I just, I just don't have the drive to actually get into housing. <coughs> but yeah, I don't have the drive to get into housing. And fishing doesn't... Uh, fishing's boring, bro fishing looks boring i've never done it before but it just doesn't look like something that's fun i i just don't see myself having fun fishing i think wizard 101 needs to add some type of new mechanics whether they're grindy or not some type of new mechanics to the game that's actually enjoyable and it's actually fun for players to do besides the current mechanics that they have in the game i forgot some activities don't let me forget these um but some things that they they do have in a game that i think are, is actually another thumbs up is i think beast moon was a thumbs up very good job on beast moon beast moon was a thumbs up for me and also decladon i think those two things are both thumbs up for me with that being said i feel like there's two sides to everything you know what i mean some people do things for fun because it is legit just fun and some people do things because there's an incentive out of it like me personally my dungeons with random series i did dungeons with randoms because it was fun you know i didn't get anything out of doing dungeons with randoms i did a certain dungeon so many times that i got every single piece of gear that it was to offer to that dungeon to the point where there was no point of me being in that team up but i was in that team up because i thought that battle was fun and i had fun doing it i currently don't have fun anymore but at that time i did have fun and i would literally do it for hours and hours and hours i did streams where i would legit just do random team ups with people for hours and hours and hours because i just personally thought it was fun now there's another side where people do things because there's an incentive you're not gonna grind dark more if you're not gonna get gear at the end you're not gonna grind uh, uh, uh abandoned backyard if you're not going to be able to craft dragoon gear at the end of, at the end of it you know what i mean you're not going to grind decladon or the Catalan, un uh, unless there was an incentive you know which is the decks that you get which are good decks you know people don't do things unless there's an incentive or they just do it because it's just completely fun 
with that being said if we're going to add different types of mechanics to wizard one one or different type of a uh, different type of, of, of activities of wizard one one we have to make it fun or we have to make it where there's an incentive to actually doing it now there's a few different type of mechanics that i think would be good for wizard one one and i'm about to tell you though there's also a few mechanics that i think could change and improve as well so we're going to start with the changing and improving mechanics okay first i think personally i think it would be really, 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 really extremely cool if we had a different stats system for our Wizard 101 characters. Now, I'm not talking about damage or critical or anything like that. I'm talking about I'm talking about health, mana, and introducing stamina. When it comes to health and mana, as you guys know, they really don't matter. The mana doesn't matter. Mana, no one looks at their stats and man, I, I wish I had more mana. No one does that. Health, maybe. Some people might look at their gear and be like, okay, let me get, let me use this gear because it gives me 600 more health than this gear over here. You know, some people might do that. But with mana, no one does that, bro. No one looks at mana and they're like, hey, man, I need more mana. No one does that. No one cares about mana. It's literally probably the most useful useless stat that our wizards have because no one cares about it it's useless inside of a battle to even care about the amount of mana you have now hear me out i think this would be literally amazing if it was in the game hear me out hear me out hear me out i think we should get rid of health pips and mana pips i think we should just a hundred percent out of the box get rid of both of those things together i also think we should separate our little potions at the bottom I think we should have separate potions, one for health and one for mana. And I also think that our wizards to, should regenerate health and mana just over time. Outside of battle, you would regenerate your health and mana at a constant rate over time outside of battle. <clears throat> I personally find it extremely tedious when I have to run around and find myself a health pip or I have to run around and find myself a mana pip. I find that extremely tedious and it's just annoying to do it. So I rather our health and our mana regenerate over time whenever we're outside of a battle. And if we're inside of a dungeon, our health and mana don't regenerate out out. So like if we're if you team up for Darkmoor and you're inside of a Darkmoor dungeon with folks, your health and mana will not regenerate. With that being said, I think that spells should cost more mana. I think I think losing mana or running out of mana inside of a battle should be an, an actual threat, especially in longer battles like dungeon fight or or boss fights or anything like that. I think there should be an absolute real threat of you running out of mana and not being able to use your cards. Not only would that entice wizards to be more efficient in battle and actually come up with a strategy that's not long and, and take forever, but also we can add another mechanic in a game where certain wizards can replenish the mana of another wizard while in a battle. Just like you have life wizards, death wizards, whatever wizards, just like you have life healing spells, we have mana replenishing spells. You know what I mean? That's another mechanic that you can add to a support wizard or a tank wizard. You know what I mean? And it would actually be valuable just in case those battles where you will run out of mana. Let's make it where those you have dungeons, right, that are so long that you will entirely 100% run out of mana. And the only way for you to replenish mana is if you have a wizard in that battle with the mana replenishing spell and they have to use it on their entire team. You know what I mean? Or you can use your mana potion that you just bought from the lady in the commons. You know what I mean? I think that mechanic would be really good for the game. Now, let me backpedal and go back to stamina. So right now, there is no mechanic of stamina in the game. Stamina is just not a thing, like, at all. Um, and I think it should definitely be implemented in the game. I think, personally, we should have a run animation, and we should also have a walking animation. You know what I mean? And we should also have our mounts, of course. But um, I think our walking animation should be slower than the current walking animation. I think we should also have a run animation where we press control or we press shift and our character starts running, uses stamina, and goes a little bit faster than the current run animation that we have right now. And of course, depending on the amount of stamina you have, it will depend on, you know, how far you can run until you have to take a break and start walking for a little bit. But yeah, that's... But yeah, that's just, you know, adding the stamina system in a different walk and run animation, I think that's another area that Wizard 101 can monetize, you know what I mean? Not only can you add a new run animation to the game that people would, you know, buy, you can also add a new walking animation to the game that people would buy, you know? Dang, bro, I'm getting so off topic, I might have to make a part two. I've been recording for a damn hour. But yeah, back on topic, back on topic. 
Back on topic. We got the we you know, back on topic. Blah, 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 blah. The main topic was what can Wizard 101 add after it goes free to play or, or yeah. It just just something some type of content that will bring the players back to the game and be like, oh, this is new. Let me do this. You know what I mean? Something like that. Um another another thing or uh, the, the biggest thing, I think, that Wizard 101 could add is guilds. I think guilds, everyone's talking about guilds. Guilds, guilds, guilds. I think guilds is inevitable. You know what I mean? It's it's it's, it's a part of almost what every single MMO out there. You know what I mean? I, I, I can't remember playing any other MMO other than Wizard 101 that just didn't have guilds, you know? So I think Wizard 101 100% needs to add guilds to the game. Guilds would be amazing. That, and I also think a lot of people probably aren't going to agree with me, but I think that um, changing the quest line of not really changing it, but altering it at the end. You know, I think the the quest line, the story mode of Wizard 101 has literally gone on for too far. It's been too long, bro. It's too much at this point. It's too much, bro. It's it's too much. We need we need a break. We need we need the, we need it to stop. We need to end it in the main storyline of Wizard 101. Make the max level 150 or 160. After that, add a new mechanic for 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 leveling up in Wizard 101. For example, I play Elder Scrolls online. In Elder Scrolls, the max level is level 50. However, that's not the end of the game. A lot of people say once you get the level 50, that's when the real game of ESO starts. You know why? Because they have a system in place for you to keep leveling up your character other than just some number of a level, you know? So in the, in the iteration of Wizard 101, maybe once you get the max level, they can change it up a little bit. They can spice it up a level a little bit. Maybe once you get the level 50, I mean not level 50, once you get the level 150 or level 160, whichever one they're going to do, um, you can choose two sides. You could choose the evil side or you could choose the good side. Depending on which side you choose will depend on a new quest line that you would go down depending you know it would depend on new gear that you can get it would depend on new cars that are introduced to you you know what i mean it would add a lot more spice to the game a lot more excitement knowing that the main quest line has ended and you have two paths you can go down you got two paths that your wizard can go down and this can open up so many doors for the community as a whole maybe every single month you can run this little event where it's the good side versus the bad side or side side blue and you got side red and we're going against each other whoever can get the most kills in this dungeon or whoever can get the best i don't know you know just some community event that you could do between both sides of wizard 101 i think that would be dope i remember this uh back in uh black ops 3 black ops 3 had like a little bit of a community event it was pretty simple and of course we were going to complete it but um they introduced this new melee we weapon into the game, which is a cosmetic item, by the way. You know what I mean? It's purely, you know, uh, melee weapons in Call of Duty are all the same. They, they, You hit them and they die. No matter what you're holding, you hit them and they die. But they had like 15 different melee weapons. You know why? Because they were all cosmetic and people grinded to get them because they looked cool. Okay, but back to what I was saying. There was these boxing gloves that was introduced into, the, into Call of Duty. And um, to get these boxing gloves, the community had to play like, what, a million games within a month or something like that? You know, you could do something like that, Wiz. Why don't I see nothing like that? You know what I mean? You could have like just a nice little community event, you know? If everyone completes this community event, then everyone who participated will get this, this new item that they can use in-game. You know, it could be a wand. It could be a mount. It could be a, a, a spell animation. It could be a, a walking animation. It could be literally anything in the world that you could add and people would actually contribute to, to to doing this you know people would contribute to doing this and you could do something like the amount of people who participate in pvp people would go out there with their way to actually participate in pvp people who don't pvp will participate in pvp just to just to contribute to this event or the amount of beast moon matches played you know or or i don't know bro you, you could do some events like this you know these are just small ideas that i think could definitely be introduced to the game to be better for wizard 101 but yeah this video has been going on far too long it was not supposed to be this long basically what i'm trying to say is i think there's a lot of ideas in wizard 101 that could be implemented of course i think the only trump card that wizard 101 has in place for this game to really flourish for the future is making the game free to play of course there's other cards out there that they could pull like making the game be available on console making the game they have to make it crossplay don't add the game to console not make it crossplay make the game crossplay um but doing something like that um making the game mobile maybe 
maybe they have that up their sleeve but i i truly believe that the ultimate trump card for wizard one one is making it free to play but also they can't make the game free to play and not have new content available for those players once the game goes free to play if i was wizard one one of course i would make my i would add my i would do a cosmetic update it will be literally called the cosmetic update where i add a bunch of cosmetic items to the game that people can achieve in game or buy with packs or just in the crown shop or maybe through the scroll of fortune something like that i would do that first so i can make a little bit of revenue or extra revenue or more revenue before making the game free to play and losing that revenue from the memberships that you no longer will have you know and after that you will have to have some type of update some different content update into the game um so when you do make the game free to play people that come back to the game because it's free have something new to do or people that's coming new to the game have something more to do you know what i mean you have to add something like that you know, I see it too many times happening, bro. You like, for example, okay, I'm gonna tell you guys a story. I on Twitch, I've been hosted plenty of times for hundreds of users, thousands of viewers, you know, stuff like that. However, not that many people stay in my streams, and I believe. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys a story, right? So you know, I I I, I I've been streaming for a, a pretty long time on Twitch, and I've I've come across a lot of people who come to my streams and they ask me, hey Smo, um, how can I be a better streamer? Or Smo, how can I get this many viewers? Or Smo, can you host me? Smo, can you raid me? And in in the back of my head, I'm like, why do you want a raid? Like literally, why do you want to host? And I understand you want more people to see your channel. However, how many people are gonna stay? You know, it's easy to get 100 viewers, but how many of those 100 viewers are going to stay for your next stream? You know what I mean? It's easy to get a raid for 800 people, but how many people of those 800 people are going to stay? The same concept implements into a game. It's easy to make the game free to play. And it's easy to get thousands of new people to come to your game the day you make the game free to play. But how many people are going to stay in that game for the next day? You know, you have to give them a reason to stay have to have some content in the game to 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 influence players to keep playing your game you can't just make it free to play and expect it to be all good from there on out you know what i mean you have to add new content other than worlds other than a new level cap other than new gear other than this that and the third that players in wizard 101 have already seen you have to add something new that we haven't seen before before you make the game free to play so when you do make it free to play you're having some more incentive for people to keep playing your game but yeah that's that's pretty much it that's just some room for thought you guys i don't know if you guys care but if you do thanks for caring but um that's just some room for thought if you guys have anything that you guys want to tell me or any ideas of your own that you think wizard one one could implement to make the game a trillion percent better other than fixing pvp because the, the majority of the community right now is pvp as it shouldn't be but um, yeah, if you guys have any ideas, anything at all, you know what I mean? Feel free to say it down in the comments, you know? Feel free. I read the comments all day, every day. So feel free to read, put them down in the comments, you know what I mean? And just tell me your thoughts on, on the situation or what you think. Other than that, appreciate you guys watching this very long video. Because I've been talking my head off for an hour in one minute and 32 seconds. So I appreciate you guys watching. Um, But yeah, have a great day and I'll see you guys on a future videos that I will be making. And I appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to listen to me ramble on about Wizard 101. And yeah, thank you for watching and have a great day.